So for a while now, I've been looking for a grill for my boat and I heard that Magma was the best brand. Um, so I saved up my money and I got one, but it did not go the way I hoped. Let's take a look. So everybody's worried about politics and news and everything. I just want a grill for God's sake. This is a Magma grill. It's specifically designed for boats. I bought it just about an hour ago and I'm really excited. I got a little cover for it. I got the propane, of course, and some mounts to put it on this uh, railing here. All in, it costs like $415. Honestly, not bad for a grill like this. I am excited to see what's inside and get this set up. So this isn't exactly the one I want. I wanted a, a bigger one with, with two shelves, but this one I think going to be just fine for my purposes and it was a little bit on sale so that's what I got yeah that's the one it will never be this shiny again that's for sure open it up it's got three small little rack segments. I think a nine by, yeah, nine inch by 18 inch cooking area. The regulator and mounting hardware is in here. Let's get this thing set up. So I'm pretty sure these mounting brackets just bolt onto the bottom. Let's see if I got the wrong mounting bracket. Is this for real? I want this for What are those things in the middle? Like these are supposed to be for mounting yeah. whole stuff. It's just too big. So this is going back to the store and I'm getting a more expensive grill. So I may have panicked. I don't need to get rid of this grill. I just needed a different mounting bracket. This one has a smaller mounting point, so it should be able to fit on the brackets here. Let's find out. So here's the truth about me and this grill. I actually reached out to Magma and I tried to get them to send me one for free. They said no. I bought my own and I still think I'm gonna be happy with it. But I want to show you all the bad parts. First of all is that tab that just fell off. There used to be a tab connected right where those welding points are. Not anymore. It popped off as I was installing it. Like, never even used. That's bad. Secondly, this locking tab is in a weird position. Kind of behind this handle and so you have to get underneath. But that's, I can deal with that. What I can't deal with is this. Take a listen. It's rattling. Like, I barely touch up here. And it rattles. I don't know what I'm going to do, but that can't be permanent. That will not be permanent. Now, it looks really nice. There is no denying that. When I was shopping around, I really thought I was going to be able to get the bigger model. And that has an electric ignition. This one doesn't. So, uh, it's old fashioned with a match. And let's go get a match. There we go. Went from annoying to dangerous. See a little bit of a flame there, but not a whole lot. But you know what, it is, it is going all the way across. It's just pretty much invisible. That's annoying. This one also doesn't have a freaking temperature gauge. This this is not the grill that I wanted. This is not the grill that he wanted. And as soon as I put food on this, then it becomes the grill that I want because I can't really return it with food stains all over it. I've got food right here. It looks really good, but. This, this just isn't the grill that I want right now. So, I think I'm gonna take it back to the store. Womp womp. And to make it even worse, the grill did not want to let go of my boat. The mount cross-threaded itself onto the rail and I had to kit out the big guns to pull it off, completely breaking it in the process. Overall, I'm just disappointed. I thought that Magma was gonna be the best, but clearly I was wrong. Uh, luckily, they were able to return it at West Marine, and I've ordered another grill. This time it's Kuma brand. I've never heard of that, but it looked really good. It has a lot of features for a lower price, actually. So, stick around for that when it arrives.
Oh, and there's a huge video coming out next week, so if you like big classic Chris Craft yachts, you do not want to miss it. Seriously. You can follow my Twitter for some more clues, but I've already said way too much, so I'll just see you next time.